as a lefty on the mound. Hunter Owen delivers the game's first pitch, and away we go. Schlegger, 343 batting average coming into play today. It's this one on the ground to third. Diaz has trouble picking it up, and Schlegger will reach base safely. A 2-2. Runner takes off. The pitch is low for a ball. It will go down as a stolen base. Um, struck out twice yesterday and was not able to get a hit. Now was able to get to second base early into the game. Matt Shaw draws a walk over the eight-game hitting streak. Pitches away from the catcher, Jack Bulger. Kind of crossed up Bulger. The 2-2 is hit in the air. Playable, shallow right. R.J. Shrek will make the grab, setting up from third for a tag is Luke Schligger, and he'll hold. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch is hit right back up the middle. Flagged down by the shortstop. A run will come in for Maryland. The play goes across to first. Jonathan Vastine completes the play. Third base, so it's 1-0 Maryland, and now a bunt. Third baseman Diaz on the move, not in time. And a bunt single for Eddie Hacopian. Matt Woods bats a .091 so far this season, and it looks like a... A force out at second base ends the top of the first. On the mound for Maryland is the righty Nick Dean. Bradfield Jr. hits this one in the air to deep left field. Back at the wall at the track, and it is gone for a leadoff home run, and we are tied at one. Enrique Bradfield Jr., Goes deep for Vanderbilt in the bottom of the first, and we are tied at one. That is Bradfield's first home run of this season. Vanderbilt won 8-0 back in 2004, and a walk. First player for Vanderbilt as he draws a walk to Homer in consecutive at bat since Carter Young did it back in uh, 2021. Dean will watch this one fly to center on one bounce. Played out there by Elijah Lambros. It's going to be an RBI double off the bat of Davis Diaz. And Vandy takes a 2-1 lead. Out of the dugout. Pitch to Maldonado is rocketed to center. That will hang up for the out. But it will be a sacrifice fly as the runner from third, R.J. Shrek, scores. It's a sack fly RBI for Chris Maldonado, and the freshman comes through for Vanderbilt. Parker Noland, the batter, and he squares around a bunt, and it's a good bunt. Dean off the mound, not in time over the first. Parker Noland, who displayed his power yesterday. The 2-1 is lined to center. And again, Vanderbilt will keep things moving as Jack Bulger drives home a run. First to third goes Parker Noland, and it's now four to one Vanderbilt. Off the bat of Enrique Bradfield Jr. to tie the game up at one. This is hit in the air, playable out to center field. Elijah Lambros will make the grab in center. Four one advantage here as he Will get a strikeout, a slow curveball finds the strikeout, uh, strike zone from Maine. Gets a swing and a miss as, as Marslack is down on strikes. A team like Vanderbilt or a team like Ole Miss. Swing and a miss, down on strikes goes Elijah Lambros and it's a one, two, three inning for Hunter Owen as he strikes out the side. The 2-2 is hit in the air to left center field. The center fielder Elijah Lambros over in the gap to make the catch. 1-1, so waited on and blasted to left. Back it goes. It's still going back. It's at the track, and it's gone. R.J. Austin goes deep, and it's now 5-1 Vanderbilt. And this has just been a completely one-sided game so far. Vanderbilt, who right now are in a very competitive SEC East with South Carolina, Florida, and Tennessee all having nine wins. Looking like they're finding the rhythms on both sides of the ball in this game. The 2-2, swing and a miss. Down on strikes goes R.J. Shrek. Nick Dean records a final out in the bottom of the second. 
Swing and a ball ripped down the third baseline. That's fair. Gets past the third baseman, Davis Diaz. Now it's played in the corner by TJ McKenzie. It'll be a double with one out off the bat of Matt Shaw. But uh, for Hunter Owen, that toughness on display. Now he has things working on the mound. Now they are as we get another strikeout as Ian Petrutz goes down looking. The one two is cut on and missed. So good one, two, three frame posted for Nick Dean. One closest to second base. This is hit in the air just over the outstretched glove hand of RJ Austin. And will dump down into right. Ballooned out in shallow right. He, had, he would have no chance to get that as this is hit hard into center field for a base hit off the bat of Kevin Keister. Back to back, base knocks. And now we get a walk. The pitch. Swung on and bounced to the right side for se uh, to second for one. The relay to first in time. And how about that? A uh, double play ball as the second baseman, R.J. Austin, took it himself. A run in the second. Five total on the board. And we get a swing and a miss to end the fourth as Dean strikes out two. Defensively, the last two innings giving up zero runs. The last couple of innings here need to turn things around on the offensive side of the ball. Schligger to the gap in left center field. That's down for a hit. So a good piece of hitting by the catcher, Luke Schligger. Vikings fan. As this is hit in the air to left field, that will fall in front of the left fielder, TJ McKenzie, who has some trouble out there settling down the baseball. And it will allow the batter, Matt Shaw, to go into second base. Three balls and no strikes to count. It's a hitter's count, and he looks at a pitch upstairs for ball four. The pitch on the ground right side. And Austin will complete the play on to first. So a run home for Maryland. Score the two runners in scoring position here. And this, this one is hit on the ground to the left side. They'll go the short way to third, and the runner wow. is in there. The pitch from Owen. Got him. The pitch from Owen, reached at, hit into the air to center field, back at the wall goes Bradfield, and it's gone. Unbelievable. How about that? Enrique Bradfield Jr. tried to track it down in center field, but it's gone off the bat of Kevin Keister, and we are now with the score 6-5 in favor of Maryland. That is an unbelievable turn of events in this inning for Maryland. Kevin Keister gets his first home run of the season. Again, the big home run off the bat of Kevin Keister. Again, it was all Vanderbilt. They really captured the momentum as this is launched to right back at the wall. And whoa! Wow. Upper tank. He hit that one all the way to St. Paul. For RJ Austin, he goes to the upper deck here at US Bank Stadium. His second home run of the ball game. And we are tied at six. RJ Austin is the standout freshman at Vanderbilt. One of the freshmen in the country who's made the biggest impact for their team so far this season. Hey. Absolutely. There's a called strike three on the outside corner, Jonathan Vastine. The 0-2 got him swinging. So R.J. Shrek, the home run off the bat of R.J. Austin, his second of the game, went into the upper deck here at U.S. Bank Stadium. Play made 5-3 on the ground out. Nebraska coming up after this one. And then in the nightcap, Minnesota against Ole Miss. Here in the top of the sixth. Again, Schligger in motion, but he'll hold. Now he is out at second base as they go around the horn. Five, four, three, a good pick over at first base by Parker Noland. And that's an inning ending double play. Six, six is our score. A sharp breaking ball retires Maldonado. 
for the Vanderbilt catcher. Chopper left side again to Shaw. Over to first in time. A one, two, three inning worked. Big five run fifth inning for Maryland and he sends this one in the air to deep left field. Back at the wall and it is gone for a home run. Nick LaRusso, what a way to extend your hitting streak. It's now a nine game hitting streak for Nick LaRusso and he gives Maryland a 7-6 lead in the seventh. Three balls, two strikes to count, one away. Pitch is taken for ball four. Lukanich in the dirt, blocked behind the plate by Jack Bulger, but so he is in scoring position for Matt Woods. Left-handed bat. Looks oh, like he's he oh, dances off of second was. base, and he is out at second base. Top of the seventh to give Maryland the lead. Down on strikes goes Matt Woods, so Dukanich. It's turf, so there is no dirt here as Enrique Bradfield Jr. strikes out swinging. Redshirt sophomore. That is hit hard to short. A little trouble over there at shortstop by Matt Shaw, but he regains his composure and throws across the diamond. Elijah Lambros waits on deck, and a strike three called is out number two. 0 for three today. Another hard hit ball, cleaned up at third by Davis Diaz. That was nicely done by the Vanderbilt third baseman. And for Vanderbilt, they lost 5-3 against Nebraska. Last season had some time as a redshirt freshman. This is hit well to the left center field gap. Out there in left center field, goes off the glove and oh my goodness. No, it's not going to be. It's still wow. in play, and the throw to third is not in time. So they will say that it's a triple for R.J. Shrek. So this is, and I don't, the pitch. Swing and a miss, down on strikes. Goes Davis Diaz. Davis Diaz struck out, now Maldonado. Will draw a walk to Chris Maldonado, who stands at first base. The pitch from Belgrave is hit on the ground right side. Kevin Keister scoops it up and throws on to first, and what a job done by Nigel Belgrave. The pitch is hit in the air, and that was hit well. Deep to right field, but the park will hold it. Out there in right, lowest ERA. Among the uh, relief pitchers that season, 231 was his ERA. Yes, unfortunately for Vanderbilt, Maldonado has not given up a run all season long. Roller on the ground left side. The play is completed on to first, and Vanderbilt will have to go to work here offensively. For Vanderbilt, trailing by a run. Activity in the Maryland bullpen, and the tying run is on base, Jack Bulger, McCoy will fire the bunt down and no one's at first base. And it will be a bunt single, tying run. And he squares around again at first. And he squares around again, bunts it, foul. It's the pitch here for McCoy. The tying run at second, the 3-2. Up the middle and through wow. for a base hit. We are tied at seven as Enrique wow. Bradfield Jr. comes through in the clutch for Vanderbilt and we are tied at seven. And they will intentionally walk RJ Austin. Batting average going in today. It is 0-1 and he for Vanderbilt, nobody out. Now there's one out, a strikeout. RJ Shrek this season has two home runs and has a chance, a grand slam here. First pitch swinging set in the air to left. We'll see a play at the plate. The catch is made, the throw in is not gonna be in time. Vanderbilt walks it off with the victory wow. here.